So this question is a diagram question. I say that because of the diagram that's provided here, the cylinder that's provided. So let's read the question and remember that anytime you have a diagram question, what you're looking to do is to label it with any information provided in the question that's not already labeled, but then also to label it with any information that you are able to figure out yourself. And from that, you should be able to um, put the information together through a formula um, and solve the question. So this question says a right circular cylinder is shown in the figure below with dimensions given in centimeters. What is the total surface area of this cylinder in square centimeters? So what dimensions do we know? We know that the height is 20. So I'm just write this down. So H equals 20 centimeters. We know that the, the diameter right here is also 20 centimeters, which means that the radius, right? They didn't tell us this, but we know that if the diameter is 20 centimeters, that means the radius is 10 centimeters. We're being asked to find the surface area, which I'll just label as SA. And then the note here, anytime I see a note, I make sure to read it. The total surface area of a cylinder is given by, oh, so we know that the formula for surface area is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, where r is the radius, which we already wrote down, and h is the height, which we already know. So all I'm really doing now is substituting h and r into this formula for surface area. So let's write that down. So I have, let's go down here where I have more space. So I have 2 pi, instead of r squared, I'm going to say it's 10 squared plus 2 pi instead of r, it's 10. Instead of h, we have 20. So to simplify this, 10 squared is 100. And 10 times 20 is 200. So 2 pi times 100 is 200 pi plus 2 pi times 200 is 400 pi. So all together, I'm left with 600 pi. And therefore, the final answer is choice D.